Hey guys, I wasn't going to film this, but then I thought, I, maybe I'm not the only one that has this problem. <laughs> so maybe it seems like a good solution, and so maybe it might be helpful to some of you. So we'll film it. All right. So for those of you who don't know, I am one of the artists in the Deco Art Helping Artists program. And um, we will be resuming Monday with Deco Art um, lessons when I get back from Alaska on a semi-regular basis. In the meantime, I really want to organize the supplies I've gotten from them so that it makes it easier for you and me when I'm um, creating the videos and the materials lists and everything that goes with them. One of the gripes I have with the stencils and I'm just going to speak on the and, uh, on behalf of the Andy Skinner stencils because I don't know that I own any of the deco arts. Although I would venture to guess that the regular deco art stencils probably have the same problem. So if you're the type of person who you're a blogger and you really like to write, you know, when you create a project, be real specific about the materials you've used, and you want to write the manufacturer name, paint color, stencil design in your blog or you're in the uh, Helping Artist program, that's hard to do with the Deco Art stencils because there is no place on the stencil where it is etched the name, model number. I happen to know these are all Andy Skinner stencils because they're gray, and all of the other stencils I own that I've purchased are all white or clear. So in that way, I know it's an Andy Skinner stencil, but off the top of my head, I wouldn't know what the design was because they come like this and it's not on here anywhere. So Deco Art, if you're watching, it would be really nice if you printed or etched the design name, model number, item number, designer's name into the stencil. <laughs> it would help oh, so much. All right, so, but I did find a solution that I think is going to work for me. And that involves taking some of the packaging, which I saved, because I knew I was going to do something with these at some point to label them or mark them or something. And I actually used packing tape to just tape it to one end of the stencil. Now, you could use a label maker, and you could make a label, and you could print it and stick it to the stencil somewhere in here. Honestly, this is the lazy man's way that I did it, because I didn't want to have to dig out my label maker. Um, but you definitely could use a label maker to, before you even use the stencil, you know, when you're just getting out, out of the package, make a label and stick it on there. That would be the best way to do it. <clears throat> These were already out of the package, so I could have still done that, but I chose to take a piece of the packaging instead and stick it, just the little front end piece, to the end of the stencil. And that seems to be like it's going to work fine. On some of the designs, you know, I had to tape over a few of the holes, in the, well, like this letter one, but because of the way I usually use my stencils, whether I'm using them on a canvas or on a journal page, that's going to be fine because I'm not going to miss that little tiny bit that I'm taping over. I'll show you how exactly I did it. So here's the four more um, open stencils. So this is the packaging it comes in. Um, and I threw the clear plastic part away, and then I'm just going to cut off this front flappy part. And this has um, DecoArt Andy Skinner, and then it has the name of the stencil design on it. And then I'm going to butt it up against one end. And this is just plain Scotch brand clear packing tape. And if I can, if there's a little bit of a margin, I... Um, try to not cover up any of the holes in the stencils. On a couple of the designs that's not possible, but most of them it is. And you don't need too much tape on there. And now, not only do I have a, a little handle, you know, that I can use for the stencil, or if you wanted to, you have a hole here, you could hang it up if you have a hanging system for your stencils. So, there's that too. But now I know exactly which one it is, and I know this is tread carefully. So I am going to do that to all of the Andy Skinner stencils <laughs> because it is hard. It's too hard otherwise. <laughs> it's just too hard. I'd have to have a, like a catalog of his designs out or I don't know, something. This is easy. And this is actually cheaper than using the label tape from the label machine. 
And there you have it. Now on some of these designs where there is a mask and a stencil, this is one of them. So in this particular one, this is Andy Skinner's Happy Chic um, or Happy Chick. Hippie, sorry, Hippie Chick. I cannot read today, holy cow. Okay, so this has a stencil and then it has the masks that you pop out that you can use. So what I would recommend in an instance like this, since you have so many little small pieces, is that you try to save the clear packaging or use other clear packaging. And we will use this one. So the first thing I'm going to do, there's a hole down here. I think the hole is okay. So I don't want to have to mess with the tape all the time. So I'm going to just cut that end off. Give it a trim. And then at, when I use this stencil, when I'm done with it, I would just sandwich all the pieces, big and small, back in here in the cardboard. And then slip it back in the envelope like that. If you hang your stencils to store them, you put a clip on it and you go hang it. I have mine in a basket, so this will work for me. Um, and then if you have more of, of these regular kind of stencils that don't have the, the uh, punch outs, the, the um, masks with them, I think I have another, yeah, I have two more with masks, then you can just tape it on the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish all my stencils and I hope this helps somebody out there. And um, I love DecoArt products, and I'm a big fan of Andy Skinner stencils. Think about checking them out. I'll put the link to DecoArt's website where you can buy the products or you can look for a local retailer. Um, Andy has some really interesting, fabulous new, st um, new stencils, and they're different than everybody else's. They're really great. I especially love, where is it? This one. This one is Day of the Dead, and I especially love this one. So think about doing this with some of your stencils. I did just buy another stencil from another company, and it has the same problem, so it's not only a deco art issue. So if you want to know what your stencils are, be able to keep track of who made it and where you got it, make a label on it, or put the packaging on it. Those are your two choices. All right, that's it for right now. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye.